Lecture 10. Writing top quality ads. Make your ad stand out against your competitors. Mirror the visitor's end goal. Because many of your competitors are bidding on similar keywords, you'll notice that a lot of the ads say the same thing. It's easy to get lost in the mix and can hurt your chances of getting that click. So how can we stand out? Advertisers sometimes lose sight of what their customers are truly looking for. I call this the end goal. What people ultimately want to accomplish with the help of your product or service. Understanding this can be the secret to writing an ad that stands out from your competition. A hypothetical example. Let's say you sell acne products and your visitors search for keywords like help get rid of acne. Your headline shouldn't ask prospects if they're dealing with acne, like the image on the left. As the advertiser, you already know that they are. Instead, you should speak to their end goal, what they're looking to achieve with a headline like this, kill acne once and for all. Don't give up very precious headline space for something you and the visitor already know. Instead, give the visitors the end solution that they're looking for. Let's take a look at a real world example. What if you're a car buyer who purchases cars from the general public? Interested prospects might search for something like this on the left, sell your car. Webuycars.com tells a visitor they'll buy the car, which mirrors the prospect's end goal. To make it easy for people to convert and remove ambiguity, all these ads should focus on telling prospects what they want to hear. We'll buy your car today. Why? Because the goal of a searcher is to have someone buy their car. How they go about selling it isn't as important as actually getting it sold. With a headline like, sell your car today, the searcher might wonder if they have to list the car themselves on auto trader like platforms and feel called from a ton of tire kickers who aren't really serious about buying a car or even worse, will they get a call back from seven interested companies or spam them until they die? Make sure that you keep your ads current. Now we're on the subject of time. Have you ever felt that certain things are more relevant and exciting when they've just happened? The concept of being current and timely is pretty intuitive. What happened recently will get more eyeballs and interest than what happened three months ago. The same is true with your Google Ads. This can drastically improve click-through rates and conversion rates alike. Get super specific. Numbers are easy to digest and understand, and studies show that incorporating them into your ad copy can make it appear more accurate and more credible. It's been shown that specific numbers like 1542 can improve performance over round numbers like 1500 plus. If you're including a number, write out the exact number. The more specific you are, the more believable you become. Make things personal. When it comes to writing ads, do you sometimes fall into the trap of being a little egocentric? Do you use words like we, us, me, myself and I? Words like that fail to focus on the customer's needs and can hurt your chances of getting a click. Not to mention, they've been shown to hurt conversions on landing pages too. The second best word is you, and the best word is the customer's name. Since we can't add the visitor's first name to our ad words automatically, we'll have to settle for the second best. So how do you craft Google Ads that use power words like you to enhance the performance? Take these ads for example. Which one of these stands out and gets you the most excited to click? One could argue that both Shopify and Volusion did a great job, but we all know that AmeriCommerce struggles. Awarded Best E-Commerce Solution, 
Enough about yourself. What can you do for me? Find opportunities where you can include the word you in your headline or first description line. And as always, lead with benefit. Do some A or B testing. Test different ads and compare the statistics against one another. With so many of your competitors worrying about a thousand things other than writing better ads, you've now got the ammunition to make your Google Ads the most glorious ads in the world. That's it if you start testing today. You'll find out where to write your ads in Lecture 17, live on the Google Ads interface. And I look forward to seeing you then.